Okay, Kanda trial paper, question number 13, paper two, yeah. Now the diagram, the table shows the price per unit share for company ABCD on 2nd January 2020 and 2nd January 2023. So this is the price of year 2020. This is the price year 2023, okay? So we need to find the value of K if the price index per unit share of C. So for C, the I, the index, base, based on the year 2020, so that means 23 over 20 equals to 144. So we shall use the price of year 23, which is 360 over K times 100, that will give us 144. So to find K, it will be 360 divided by 144 times 100. So the answer that we get is, let's use the calculator. 360 times 100 divided by 144. So we have 250. 250, okay? Our currency uh, must have two decimal places. So that is K for part A. And next, B. We have to calculate the price index per unit share for D in the year 2023. The price index, so I, 23, based in the year of 20, and state our interpre interpretation. So we take the price of year 23, which is 150, divided by 625 times 100%. Okay, so you know that from 625, it dropped to 150, so it must be a drop. Our price index will be smaller than 100. So 1.5 divided by 6.25, and when we multiply 100, 24. The price index is 24, which means the price, the price per unit share dropped about drop. How many percent? 76% because we always use 100 as a reference okay as the reference from so from 100 you left with 24 that means you have the price has dropped uh, 76% okay c ceiling invested a total of 20000 in the company a b c and d equally which means the weightage for each part is 1 and 1 so we have to calculate the profit yeah so let's see the some of the price increase, some of the price reduce. So we have to find the price index. Okay, so the price index year 2003 or year 2000. Okay, for a C and D, we already know A, B, C, and D. So we know that for the D, C is given 144. And for D is 24. Okay, what about A and B? So we shall use the formula 1.42 over 0 0.8. 1.42 over 0 0.8 times 100. That gives you the price index for A. As for B, 0 0.55 over 0 0.4. 0 0.55 over 0 0.4 times 100. Okay, let's get the value. 1.42 divided by 0 0.8 and it will times 100. 177.5. Okay, this is the price index. Next is 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.4 times 100. So the price index is 137.5. And since she uh she invested equally so the composite we can find the composite price index 23 over 20 it will equals to sum of i w so we have 177.5 times 1 we've got to show that we substitute into the formula yeah and then 137.5 even though we know that the weightage is 1 
but just need to show, okay? 144 times 1 plus 24 times 1, and then we shall take 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And next, we can use the calculator and get the answer right away, okay? 177.5 plus 137.5. Plus 144 and then plus 24. And all in all, we divide by 4. Therefore, the price in this 120.75. So, overall, based on 100%, we still earn 20.75%. So, we have to calculate the profit that uh, the investment, the, the so, sort of like the return. Therefore, the profit that he made. What she made that will be out of the 20,000, he earns 20.75 extra percentage. Okay, so we shall use that to multiply with 20,000. Okay, times with uh, sorry, we shall take 20.75. So 20,000 times with 20. 0.75 over 100. 4,150. That is the profit that uh, she made for this uh, after these three years. Next, ceiling made a profit of 40.1% on second January 2023 on investment in company A, B, C, and D. On 2nd January 2020, if his investment in company A, B, C are equal, find a ratio of investment for all four companies in order of A, B, C, and D. Now, unlike the previous question, part C, our A, B, C, D, the weightage, uh, the I still remain the same. 177.5, 137.5, and then we have 144. And 24. However, the weightage, because A, B, C, they are the same. So let's use M, M, M. Only D is different, but I do not know what's D. So let's just let it be N. But we do know that ceiling made a profit of 40.1%. So that means our composite index, year 23 over based in the year 2020, is 140.1. Okay because the profit is 40.1%. So based on the formula, let's take 177.5 times M plus 137.5 times M plus 144 times M and then plus 24N over M plus M plus M plus N equals to 140.1. Now let's group the light term together. We have 177 177.5 plus 137.5 plus 144. These are M. Huh? So we have 459M. 459M plus 24N equals to, we shall take 140.1 times with 3M plus N. Okay? Uh, four hundred and twenty point three m plus one hundred and forty point one, and let's group the light term together. M go there, the n comes here. So we have four hundred and fifty nine minus four hundred and twenty point three, and that's for m equivalent to four hundred and four a uh, one hundred forty point one minus twenty four n. Okay. Then we write M to N, M over N, because I want to find the ratio of M and N. Okay, so we shall take this 140.1 minus 24. We have 116.1 over 459 minus 420.3, 38.7. Let's use the calculator to simplify this. So we shall take 
0.1. We put in terms of ratio. Uh, I mean, I mean the fraction. The calculator will simplify for us. Okay, we got three. That means three over one. Three over one, which means the ratio of m to n is three to one. And the question actually want us to find the ratio investment for all four companies in order of A, B, C, and D, which means you are asked to find the ratio of investment A to B to C to D. Remember, the weightage is MMM and that is three, 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 and one. Okay, that's it for question number 13.